Hello. So, okay. First things first. Um, let's see where I am. Mm, let's check if you can hear me and see me. Um, that is, if Facebook cooperates, it doesn't. <laughs> Hello. It doesn't do anything. Okay. I have to change something otherwise. This will go wrong. My computer doesn't really want to do what I want to do, but I'm hoping you can see me and you can hear me. I will check on my phone. Yes, you can, I think. I see messages on my phone, but I want to see you on my laptop too. Okay. Welcome, of course, and good morning, afternoon or evening, depends on where you are. Um, I'm going to make a gift, a gift for a crafter friend. And uh, that's always a bit different than giving something uh, to someone who doesn't craft, I think, because um, I make them like snail mail projects, but I just hand them over. Um, and in the snail mail... Let's see if I can find Facebook. And in the snail mail projects, I will always hide a lot of gifts. Just because it's fun to give. And um, I'm going to combine several uh, collections today. No, nope, doesn't want to work. Oh, God. I just... Oh. I don't know what's, what's wrong with Facebook, but it just doesn't react at all. Don't know why. Let's see. Yeah. So I'm going to combine several uh, collections. And um, of course, it's uh, fun to use as a base of the snail mail, uh, the pages from the art journal specials. And I'm going to use, well, you can see it. Um, the bell rose, I think you call it, paper from the Planner Essentials. And I just, um, well, I die cut it a lot. Yeah, there I am. There I am. Can I see myself? Oh, I hate it when the computer doesn't really really want to do what I want to do. But I also used the Sidekick collection. And I think you remember these. I'm going to use them as well. And they fit perfectly in the pockets of the art journal special pages. Um, I have a nest collection here. Okay, I'm driving me crazy. Did someone tag me? Maybe I can see that. Um, no, I don't know. I have... No, 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 no. Maybe it's possible that someone texts me um, in uh, the comments because I really can't see myself at all. I don't know where I am. And of course, um, if you do see this video and if you like it, you can share it um, and comment. Like, uh, comment and share, that's it, right? And then you can, you might win a gift certificate, which is always, always, always fun. Okay, I'm going to give up, I think. <laughs> I can't see myself at all. So now it's like talking to the, the lights standing here. I also die cut it, uh, a few of the scissors from the, and, and the needle from the sidekick collection from Esther. And Annette's collection is here as well. So yeah oh more of these but then on leather paper and yeah well you can see i did a lot so i'm going to start and i'm going to start making the pages first so this can wait for a little while there you go good i think i can see myself yeah Okay, yeah, like, comment, and share. Yeah, okay, I can see you. Yeah, I I have it. God, I hate it when it doesn't work the way I want to. But that's 
Well, that's it. That's just the way it is, right? The base pages. Yeah, good. Yeah, the honey gum is so cute and I'm going to do something very nice with it. On one of these. I don't know how you call them, but um, I love them. Okay, first the pages. I die got it, well, practically every page from the Art Journal specials. And um, I also die cut it a few, the, the flaps, as we call them, and the pockets. So that's my base. And it's all the papers, all, everything is from the Bell Rose collection. I think you recognize it. I'm going to make a bit of a booklet from it. So I'm just going to fold it. Nothing complicated. And you can fold it any way you like. There's no wrong or right with folding this. Just do it the way you like to do it. There we go. Yeah, Renee, it's always good to just combine because, um, well, maybe you have something from this collection and something from that collection and something from that collection. And why not use it all together? I mean, if you have it, use it. There we are. And the last one, I will just fold it as well. No need to complicate things. There we go. Yeah, I've actually used the journal file one, the journal file two, and the I think it's the one as well from the smaller one. So these are actually for the uh, big square, um, uh, the big square journals. <laughs> I was looking for the word journals. And these are from the, the smaller on the passport side journals. But as I'm going to make something completely else, yeah, you can just combine it. But you can also make something like this and just put it in your big square journal because it will fit. It will fit just fine. How do I like it? Maybe like this. So this is the base of my little booklets. Again, nothing strange, funny, special, but I am going to do something with it. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to make pockets out of the file folder. And I'm going to do that in a very simple way. Um, where is my double tape? Oh, here. Let's see. Let's fold it like that. And all of a sudden I now have a pocket. Where is the opening? And I'm just going to put the double sided tape on both sides. And voila, we have a pocket. There we go. So now I have a little extra. And if it all, yeah, it works just fine. So now I have a little pocket extra in my little booklets. You see? And I'm going to repeat that on this side as well. Just going to fold it a bit. Don't go too far because you want this to fit in there. Or you want this to fit in there. You see? And one can never have enough pockets and flip flaps and pockets and <laughs> it's just so much fun. And because um, uh, 
I am giving it to someone who crafts as well. It's fun to have all those pockets and flaps and, and you know, because you can hide, well, labels in there and you can just add anything you want and have fun with it. There we go. So, completely other look and feel instantly. I'm going to keep it like this, I think, on that side. Yeah. It's already fun. And I'm going to do it one more time. And I want this one to fit in there. So, I'm not folding it too far. Just a little bit. Just for the fun of it. Yeah, and the paper, Dorothy. I love the paper as well. Can't get enough of the pink and black and browns. No. One more pocket. So. And again, it's nothing, nothing complicated at all. It's just for fun. And look at that. So this is going to be the front. And this is how it's going to be when you open it. Yeah. You might even want to. Let's see if that fits. That fits. I'm going to do something to it. Let's see. This is my cutting and how do you say rille? Um, I lost the word in rille. Score. You can score. Yeah. So I have already have my middle line, but I want a bit more space in my booklet. So what I'm going to do is the following. So this is going to be the middle line and I'm going to score. Did I score on the same line? Yeah, of course I just scored on the same line, Rihanna. I just want a bit of more space, so I'm going to score again. But this time, just a little bit next to it. Now I have a bit more space, but I still want to know if this still fits in there. Otherwise I'm going to have a problem. No, it still fits perfectly. And there we are. Yeah, and I'm going to repeat that. So let's see how I thought of this. Like that. Uh, which means I'm going to repeat what I did. Improvising is a thing, but I really want a bit more space. Because, of course, there is going to be a lot of thingies in there. There we are. Yeah. That's two. One more to go. Again. There we are. So again, nothing, nothing, nothing complicated. So this way, this way, oh, and this way. Yeah, there we are. And now I have more space, so I can just place a lot more stuff in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to glue this together. Never ever clean up your desk, David. 
it will just not happen <laughs> because you can you will just see everything lying around and think oh i want to do this and i want to do that and i want to make flowers and i want to make planners and i want to make journals and it's horrible i don't have a lot in my i don't have a crafting room yet so a craft room i don't have one yet but i'm going to have one and because of that Everything is in the attic. So if I'm going live, as like I did today, I have to look everything up and hope I have everything here. I'm just gluing it in the middle. That's all I'm doing. There we go. And I'm just using double sided tape. Done. Yeah, and that's also a true Nicole. Every time you clean up, you just kind of lose everything. And <laughs> I'm no different. I can't find my Fursa mark anywhere and it should be there because i really really placed it in the attic i am sure i did but i can't find it anywhere <laughs> it's really really bad okay so my little booklets what's next the pockets and of course the flip flaps Which side do I want to see? Maybe this side. Let's see. Oh yeah, that would be perfect. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. So I couldn't do a lot of mixed media today because... Uh, <laughs> I have a few things lying around. I used some at another live yeah, last night. But that's really all I've got. <laughs> I will find it again. I will. As soon as my husband does something in the room. And I might have my own craft room soon. It's not a big room, just a small room, but I'll take it. I'm now in the living room next to the kitchen. You can hear my dishwasher, I think, but <laughs> yeah, it's just the way it is. But then... Again, you must know, um, uh, you might know, you might not know, but I will tell you that average house in the Netherlands is quite small. Um, our house is no different. It's quite a small house. We do, of course, have big houses, but um, where I live, this is just uh, yeah, uh, an average size house. It's really not very big. We don't usually have basements of course there are houses with basements but usually our houses don't have basements and i was actually looking at um tlc um not too long ago and there was a couple there looking for a tiny house which is a thing uh completely forbidden here in our country i think but it's uh, uh upcoming uh, in uh, the us at least that's what the people told on television and the tiny house for a family there was actually the same as our house so i told my husband we now live in a tiny house <laughs> so i had to laugh very loud when i saw that okay good according to their standards we live in a tiny house so, okay we live in a tiny house <laughs> why not yeah this is going to be fun all i did was at the flaps as you saw it's already fun you can see it's up top <laughs> it's fun to look at like that 
tiny houses here have been a thing for quite a while. Yeah, I think they're quite forbidden in our country. You can't do that anywhere uh, you like. Um, but uh, we do see uh, a trend that there are even smaller houses or even container houses for like students or something like that. Because the rooms for students are just not affordable anymore. And we do um, see them living in container houses, for example. So, yeah, we are on trends. Yeah, definitely. We are living in a tiny house. <laughs> definitely on trends. And do let's do another pocket. Yeah, and we can see this. It's fun to see it right here. I think that's a good page to do that on. Good. I will just use glue for this one. Oh. And as I said, it's on average, right? Because um, I have been to uh, Chicago and I have been to houses just as big as ours. So it's all relative. But uh, of course, there are places in the States where the houses are not so expensive. And if they are going, if there's a show and they're going to look for houses or something on television. Uh, and that's always huge, huge for not so much money. Well, we don't have that here. But again, it's the same where you live, right? In, uh, it's the same here in our country. It depends on where you live, how expensive or how cheap the houses are. I think that's the same all over the world. Okay, that's my base. That's my base. <laughs> no basements in Florida. That's called a pool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be the same here. We don't have basements here. <laughs> So yeah, we, we are converting uh, our closet. We had a sort of small uh, room extra, which was our closet room or something, but we changed a lot in our house. And that small room is now going to be my craft room. And it's empty, so my husband can start. I hope he hears it. My husband can start. And then uh, <laughs> I hope to be able to do the lives from there. Yeah, okay. The base is ready and I have some space. Because I scored an extra line. And okay, that's one. Then I want to fill it, of course, with gifts. Yeah, Dorothy, thank you. It's just, I love giving gifts like this. It's quite easy and quite fast to make, especially with all the dice, of course. You can just use the dice and just fold it and you have an extra pocket. And um, it's just fun to give to a crafty friend with a lot of gifts in it. In order to give the gifts, um, I think it's fun to uh, do that in a special way. So I'm going to alter a few of these. Did I somebody mention um, what this is called? Because I can't, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's call them uh, labels. Oh, I have more pocket thingies. Yeah, cute. I can add them later, no problem. Maybe I can add them to this one. That's a possibility. And then, yeah, good. That's for later. This is different paper. This is the soft finish cardstock from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Yeah, Nicole, I got a card, but I don't think that's English. <laughs> and this is from Tim Holt's uh, leather card stock. I thought it would be fun to use both. But in order to color the leather card stock, I have to spray. And I have uh, antique linen and vintage photo distress oxide sprays here. Um, I have to, just a moment. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There was some package coming and my son is picking it up. So that's good. My mixed media mats. It's still dirty from the live yesterday. I did a mixed media live yesterday. So it's still a bit dirty. I'm sorry about that. But it is what it is. And I need... Uh, 
and this. There we go, just a piece of paper. I'm going to scroll back, I missed it. Did somebody answer me? Spools, Teresa? Let's call them spools, because I can't imagine it's called spools. Yeah, I can't imagine it's called spools. I'm going to make noise because I'm going to dry this with my heat tool. I'm always warning because there are people with ears listening to me and then uh, all over the sudden it's a lot of noise. Last time I uh, did a live, the people still in snow areas. Is that still the case? Oh yeah, David, it's so much fun to do this. Are there still people, uh, people having snow where they live? Because um, we had a very, very, very bad cold and wet spring. But it's now finally uh, turning for the better so uh, we actually have the sun there and it's going to be a bit warmer this weekend yay about time okay let's let it dry there for a minute there we go I'm going to take another one let's use a stencil I love working with stencils. Why not Lou use a stencil first? I'm going to use a, a lighter ink, a distress ink. This is the tea dye. I'm first going to color the background with it. Yeah, Nora, we are not too far apart, right? No, we are neighboring countries, although there is an ocean between us. But we practically always have the, the same weather. And even because we have friends in Chicago, they practically always have the same weather uh, as us as well, because it's a sort of line around the earth. I was told, I don't know if it's true. And uh, well, they basically have about the same weather. It has not been good. On the other hand, we have friends in Spain and they are so hot. <laughs> it's too dry there. It's very hot there. So it depends on where you are and where you live. But I went live a couple of weeks ago and there were people still in snow. Yeah, stencils is... Uh... I'm still in my winter sweater because I was so cold yesterday. It's better today. There's still a lot of wind. There we are. Okay. Basically very easy to do. Let's see. I think this is a fun one to work with. I can do a few things. I can use a spray. I can use a darker oxide on it with a dabber. I can do that. But I can also do something else. Oh, I have a trolley here and everything falls off. <laughs> Going great. I did 
did this yesterday as well and it was just such a great effect i'm going to try it here too i'm going to use the stencil as a stamp oh oh i can't see the comments anymore yeah I'm just spraying the oxide and I'm pressing it down on this card. <gasps> Great effect! Yeah, love it! Yeah, we are still in winter clothes here. <laughs> My children too! You are not going to get a perfect effect from this. It's still very fun to use because the effect is just great. I'm going to add some kitchen towel. There we are. There are benefits for being next to the kitchen. <laughs> I'm near my kitchen towel. Once I get my craft room, I need uh baby wipes and kitchen towel just to be there <laughs> there we go love this thingy this works great there we are such a fun effect stamping with a stencil it's not going to be perfect it's just fun to do and uh, let's do stamping Let's stamp. And I'm going to use this one. The stamp that's actually made for this. That's the stamp I'm going to use. It's from stamp set CS302, the Craft Studio 2 set. That's the stamp. That's the one I'm going to use. Yeah, yeah, I say me these big rolls. Yeah, and I need that in my craft room once it's ready, definitely. Those big, big rolls. There we are. There we go. Oh, you might see my hair. Otherwise, I can't see anything. Oh, Dorothy. Yeah, rain might, can be good as well, of course. Eh? But we had a lot, a lot, a lot of rain over the last few months. Too much. But I can imagine if it hasn't been raining a lot and it's finally raining. And it can put out fires and it's just good. Yeah, great effect. Love it. So now I have one ready. I'm always cleaning my stamps. I'm sorry. I know not everybody does that, but I do. I always clean my stencils and I always clean my uh, stamps. And yes, Stephanie, I got them. We talked about this last week and I ordered them so now I have the sleeves for the stamps very good now I have one ready I can do something on the back as well but I think this is just fine um, what I will do make a gift I will make a gift out of it and I have some washi tapes and this is the most simple way to use these Washi tapes. There we go. Yeah, Nora, I really love uh, just to clean, have everything clean. <laughs> Can you see it? It's not perfect, but that's kind of the charm. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to make a gift of it. There we are. Uh, 
and the first one is going to be with washi tape I will not I will finish this after the live otherwise you'll just watch me <laughs> add washi tape but you, you, you know what I'm doing right you know what I am uh, talking about when I do this and I can do about three I think there we go um, where's the start here just do this one and i think we all have this at least a lot of people i know have a lot of washi tapes but you can never have enough so this always makes a great gift there we are We'll do the rest uh, later but i think you catch my drifts so this is the washi tape gifts this is one where's my booklets <laughs> yes david I, I i am actually making something else for you <laughs> because we have a, a a fun day in july right so I'm, I'm making something for everybody so yeah this can be here so, first gift is in there. Second one. Let's do another one and let's do something else with it. Okay, where is my H to Mahogany? It's right there. Let's see if we have more stencils. I thought I had more here. I had more stencils. And this one. I'm just going to use with my Distress Oxide, but again, I will first use the tea dye, otherwise it's far too white. Just a light inking of the cards, that's quite enough. <laughs> Who knows, Stephanie? <laughs> enough and this is a new one uh, I thought uh, it, it matches my sweater <laughs> I thought um, I would get the oxide from this color as well I had the ink already which I really wanted the oxide as well Quite easy. One of the easiest ways to use the stencils is just use them with a bit of ink and a dabber. Oh. Oh, that's okay. And that's it. Why not do the honeycomb on there? And it's perfectly like that. Are my little ones ready yet? 
Yeah, it's a great, great color for flowers as well, David. You're right, it's beautiful. Yeah, these are ready and dry and ready to go as well. I'm going to use this one and I am going to... Yeah, there we go. Going to use the bee. So flowers and honeycomb and the bee. Why not? Where is my soft finish cardstock? Right here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's almost my table. Almost. Let's see. I wanted to do this before the live, but I had to work and then I had to go to the hairdresser with my uh, son because he really, really, really needed to go to the hairdresser and he wanted a certain or kind of different. He's 11, almost 12, and he just wants something different done with his hair. So I had to go to um, yeah, somebody who knows what he's doing, a gentleman hairdresser especially for men and i must say it worked out perfect but um, i lost time again and then uh, i had to cook dinner and uh, well you know how that happens it's a lot of work and then i had to well it was busy <laughs> i didn't have time to do this beforehand so i'm kind of bothering you with the cutting process right now i'm sorry about that but um i'm quite um, a fast cutter so it won't take too long Oh yes, Sue, that's definitely right. You can stencil and uh, tear it up and use it uh, in several uh, parts. Sure. Oh, the sky's the limit with stencils. I just love them. I, I have a lot of them and I use them a lot. And I remember the first time I did a, a mixed media course. And the first time we had a stencil and I used it, I was like, okay, stencil, put this on there. And I think we used spray ink or something on there. And the moment I lifted my stencil up, I was like, oh, this is magic. Same with embossing powder. I love working with embossing powders. And I love uh, exploring new, technique, new techniques with them. But then again, I love um, doing mixed media and learning and practice, practicing new techniques. Now we're almost there. It's not so big, right? <laughs> yeah, Belinda, busy, busy, busy. A bit too busy so i am actually making choices life choices what to do and what not to do what is really necessary what's not really necessary and i'm trying to do what i love because it kind of relaxes a person right when you do what you love and this is what i love doing crafting Making things pretty. I'm all about making things pretty. Because that makes me happy. <laughs> oh, I think it's a bit difficult to die cut if your hands are not working right. Yeah, I can completely understand. I do understand. Yeah, for me, it's no problem. But I really can imagine that if yeah, people, not everybody, can do this. Just going to make it a bit brown. A 
vintage bee. It's going to be on there. Now I have to see how I'm going to do this. Because I want to do something else with it too. Yeah, I think this is fine. Let's glue it. Oh, bye. <laughs> well, I must say, I think all the designers are quite open for input on their designs. Are we ready for David's next release? It will be next week. I think David, are you still here? It's still next week, right? Next Monday. I'm excited, but I know what it is. <laughs> it's going to be a great release again. Okay. Let's do be. Yeah, David is first. The The first release that will be done will be David's, and I think it will be next week. And I absolutely love everything about it. There we go. That's another one done. And I want to add something, of course, I want to add something here as well. I had some rope because this kind of rope is something well i use it quite a lot why is it all tangled up because i didn't store it the right way i think <laughs> let's see and let's do it like this did we see some sneaks already yeah i couldn't see everything else did um during her life but yeah there's always sneaks right yeah i think so that you're right that she's doing the live with david definitely okay just going to place a bit of washi tape on this side in order to make it easier for me to wrap the rope around the cards yeah this is fine and another piece yeah belinda i loved your shrink plastic charms i love making those yeah and the bees uh... but i'm quite sure that else and david will go live together next monday Let's cut this off. So, another one ready. And it's going to be a chunky uh, little booklet, but it's so much fun to give. Oh, David did some sneaks in his, on his YouTube. Yeah. Oh, Luilak, Stephanie. Is it Luilak? Of course it's Luilak. It's Pinksteren. Yeah, we have the, uh, a holiday this weekend in the Netherlands, Pinksteren. And then we know it as Luilak which means like lazy person or something like that in Dutch. And um, when I was young, we went out on the streets when it was Luilak and uh, drove around on our bikes with those with cans behind our bike. And it made a lot of noise. And we just uh, went out very early and did, on our bikes and we just woke everybody up. It's sort of a tradition. There we go. Now you can see why I wanted the booklet a bit um, bigger, because it's going to be chunky. But it's so much fun to make this and to give it. Let's do the letter one. And I will just color the back, because otherwise I think it's too white. And this is the one with the, from the leather cardstock. Oh, the flower mark is in Haarlem. Love Haarlem. I almost lived in Haarlem. 
Let's I now live in Helmond instead. That's the other side of the country. For people who don't know, it's a small country, but it's still the other side. There we go. That's my daughter <laughs> who's home. I think I will just uh, stamp on it for a bit and then leave it as is. And I have some lace. Yeah. And I'm going to place some lace over it. Uh, where's David's stamp? It's right here. David has some great background stamps as well. Let's do... Now let's do this one. I love the crunchy background stamps. And it really doesn't have to be perfect at all. Just a nice touch. There we go. Yeah, I, I really think that one state in your country, in the US, is bigger than our whole country because we have a very, very small country. It's a very busy country with a lot of people, but it's small. There we go. Of course, you can use anything on there. So also lace. Lace is always fun to give. And I think this is a beautiful lace. And again, I'm using washi tape. Washi tape. To keep it in place. And then... Just wrap around it. There we are. And I need something I don't have here, but I will get it later. You can use um, well, a clip to attach it, or you can use just Again, the washi tape. I will do this different later because I have something else for this. But for now, it's fine. So we have another one. There we go. This can one can go in here, right? No problem at all. We can you use washi tape around this as well. We can also do something else with it. Yeah, the lace. Yeah, I have I have a very big roll. Oh, there was a hobby shop that was going um, to stop, and they had those big rolls um, with yeah lace and I, I everything, and I just bought a few because I really love them. Okay, the scissors, the needles, <laughs> oh Stephanie, in the train, <laughs> really, <laughs> okay, well, that's just fine, right, and I have these, I actually bought them at the same company, the, as, uh, the lace one, and I'm going to add, uh, this is very light, um, I am going to add a scissor here as well. And I have the small spool. Yeah, I think this is fine. And again, I'm going to color it with the ink. Yeah, it's a thinking process, right? And I, I knew I wanted to make this. 
which I didn't know exactly how, but it's just fun to use all kinds of techniques and make a gift out of it. You can uh, put, I will just tell you, I, you can put buttons in there as well. You can put little charms in there. You can uh, add uh, all kinds of labels because we can always use labels, right? We, can, uh, it's, we never can have enough labels for all kinds of projects. Um, we can add uh, stamped images, just cuts or something like that and uh, give them. Um, I always make handmade flowers and put them in there. Uh, flat ones in this case and I'm going to stamp on this one you can just do anything you like on them and it's everything it, there's no wrong you know it's a gift just make it the way you want to right I'm going to use this one I think yeah they are all they are all fun and I'm going to add a craftaholic, the crafting, and I like crafting stamps for definitely sure. Yeah, the buttons are great too. I have these uh, charms. And you can also add something and add glaze to it. I love them. Um, where's my... There we go. <laughs> it's hard to take it off. <laughs> Maybe I will, Belinda. Who knows? I might send you something one day. No problem. I have a lot of proje projects. Uh, where is my... Yeah, you can just add anything you like to this a project like this. You know, it's there's no right, there's no wrong. I want to add one more stamp. <laughs> yeah, I know, Belinda. Uh, let's see. I just had it. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. This one. Labor of love. Why not? Great text. Let's add that one. Am I almost out of time already? Time is flying. It's going so fast. A labor of love. I should use my stamp helper for this, but uh, my stamping tool or whatever you call it, but it's somewhere on my attic and I don't know where. You see, but again, it's not perfect, but that's quite all right. Um, the storage envelopes, yeah, um, I get them at a craft store and they are called... Um, well, it's A5... Plastic um, transparent envelopes, something like that. I think you can get them on Amazon as well. It's uh, quite handy. And I wanted them, I would have them for a very long time. But yeah, it was constantly out of stock, but now it's here and I'm happy with it. Oh. That's a new one. Definitely a new one. <laughs> I 
just going to finish this one. I have seen them on Amazon too. But it's the A5 one, not the... Uh, oh, that doesn't work. Not the A4, the A5. There we go. So. Yeah, definitely. They are on Amazon, right? I don't know if I'm going to... I have to finish this earlier than in my next live, Femke. That will show you. They're just a lot of fun ideas. There we go. And the needle, perfect. Yeah, it doesn't need a lot more. Yeah, I don't know how I am going to attach this, but I will, I think, with a rope. So we'll do that later. I, I'm out of time. Well, thank you, Suzanne. So I have the little flip flap booklets and I have made well, four gifts up to now and I will place them in the booklets and I will add, you know, like extra um, labels and i have more labels and i will add just a lot more things to it and then i will show you after it's finished and then yeah i will make pictures and i'm going to give it to somebody okay well this is my life for today thank you so much for watching oh there we go oh this is not coming right again Facebook and me. No friends at the moment. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I will definitely, definitely see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.